Hello everyone, this is Mara and we are back on time shots. I'm just doing some quick quick breathing here. And in to, in uh, today's episode we are going to talk about some some more serious stuff. And there's also quite a few donations that I want to take care of. Okay, there we go. But yeah, uh, there is something that I have been thinking all day. It's a very serious subject and we are going to talk about it a little bit today. But first, let's take care of a very important thing. Okay, so the donor room has been expanded quite a lot. I decided that I wanted to add all the donations, all the donors who donated towards uh, helping me with taking care of my sick puppy and all of them have been added here and I will show them uh, all their plugs all the names to you in just a bit but first I want to take care of this this one donation and this is actually from Zella Omai who has donated fifteen dollars and who is also my very first Patreon. So thank you so so much Zella for your donation for your support. That is so much appreciated and you are you are amazing. And I wanted to show you all the other donor donations or the donors. I had to I had to do a little bit um work here to fit all the all the blocks in because we are actually running into the river right there be behind that wall. But anyway, I, I decided that we are going to have uh, three donations on each side, so we are going to have a little more space. But anyway, thank you so much to each and every one of these wonderful people who donated, who supported me uh, through so, so hard times. Thank you so much. Each and every one of these donations are so, so highly appreciated. And seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough for your support. So thank you so much. And by the way guys, if there are some of you here who donated and who want who want me to uh, change the names, if you want to have some other name on your uh, donation block, please let me know. You can PM me on YouTube or on Twitter. And please make sure that you will include the email that you used on PayPal for the donation so that I will know that it's from you. So definitely let me know if you want your names to change here. So thank you so so much. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously. Oh, you guys are just amazing. And thank you so much Zella like I said for becoming my very first Patreon. That is, that's just amazing. Okay guys, uh, first of all sorry if I seem a little <laughs> distracted. There's actually a leaf blower. <laughs> going going off outside and it's quite distracting but i think we are we are just going to roll with it so there is something that i've been thinking all day like i said earlier and it's a it's a serious subject and i really wanted to talk to you guys about it because like i said i've been thinking about it all day when i was working and i really thought that this is something that I want to talk to you guys about and kind of share my thoughts and uh, hopefully get some feedback for, from you guys in the comments as well. So, uh, let me put some of this stuff away first. I'm so distracted and I feel like... Yep, I think we are going to go to the community farm at spawn and we are going to do some some work at the same time as I'm trying to <laughs> trying to ramble what I have in mind and on my heart today so <coughs> there we go so just recently a friend of mine um, said to me that I have been very unhappy recently and they said that I have been I have been angry, I have been very unhappy and frustrated a lot recently. A lot lately. And 
that really hit the nerve, I guess. I guess that's the right <laughs> right way to describe it. And why is there fish here? Etzen? <laughs> I smell Etzen. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, this friend of mine, I, I won't say who it was, but they were very, very blunt, very direct with what they said and it really stopped me. It really made me think about what they said and how true it was. And I, I really uh, realized that they are absolutely right. They are absolutely right. They have definitely noticed that I haven't been myself, I haven't been happy, I have been quite angry and frustrated and with things that are, aren't really even that important in life. And I, I, just, I just spent all this all, uh, today thinking about it and thinking how, how well they have um, analyzed me, how well they have seen that uh, I'm not myself, that things are not well in my life. And I can't tell you guys how how much I appreciate that this person really was so blunt about it, that they really wanted, wanted me to know that this is how I have been acting a lot lately. And that is something that I know it may sound a little bit weird that someone would be uh, thankful to hear that. But to me personally, it's sometimes in life you go through things when you are when you, when you basically become a little a little bit blind to certain things, and it's so helpful that there is someone who will actually give it to you straight. You know, they will they won't cookie cutter it. They won't um, they they won't try to make it any. Any, any, anything else than what it really is. And that's the truth. I have been very unhappy. And I started thinking about my life and the recent events in my life, all the difficult things. Some of you may know them, know about them already, and some of you may not. But anyway, I, I have been through a lot, especially in this autumn. And, um, it just felt it just felt good to have this sort of a uh, realization about my situation about my own attitude in life i guess and um i can't thank thank this person enough for telling me that and i've yeah so <laughs> this is very rambly i know i'm sorry about that guys but anyway, I, I have been thinking about my life and all the things that have happened in my life. And, um, oh, that's that's a poisonous potato. And I have been thinking about my depression. Some of you may have seen the recent, the most recent Moral Mail episode. Moral Mail is my series about uh, channel updates, about some, sometimes some personal things. And the recent one was something where I talked about uh, my depression, my chronic depression, and um, I started thinking about it again today when I went through all the things uh, that my friend said, and I started thinking and analyzing my life. If I'm in that sort of place right now, where I would actually need some some professional help, I wanted to analyze myself and kind of. Um, kind of have this sort of, um, how can I even describe it? Anyway, sort of like this, uh, this ana ana analysis, no, that's not a word, anyway, <laughs> I wanted to analyze my life and think, think things through and, and figure out if my situation in life, if my depression is in that sort of state right now where I I would really need some outside help because I have been in that that position many times in life before, and that's that's a serious thing, you know. When you are are considering it, when you are thinking that are these 
things that I'm going through right now, are they uh, so big, so powerful that I can't handle my life, that I can't handle my depression, that I can't, uh, that I don't feel like I can, I can survive these things without any help. And I also wanted to, uh, related to this subject, I wanted to tell you that I actually I grew up in a family where asking asking people for help, especially outside help and professional help. I grew up in a family where asking for help was a extreme sign of weakness. And to be honest, guys, it it was actually so bad. The um, uh, some of my family members actually thought that asking people for help, that asking someone for a professional help, that that is so bad that they actually choose to take their own life rather than asking for help, rather than seeking for help that they desperately needed. So this is how I grew up. I grew up, to, I grew up thinking that uh, asking for help is weakness, that it's something that you shouldn't do in like any any kind of situation. And that's also something that I had to learn when I, when I was in my early twenties. I'm I'm old right now, but when I was in my early twenties, my my depression got really bad. I went through some of the most uh, difficult years in my life, and and I I all the way through that time, I felt like I just I just can't ha can't ask help. For help, I can't uh, go to the, a professional, or, you know, um, psychiatrist or whatever. I can't do it because that's how how I was raised. I I'm not allowed to ask help. I should be able to be strong and go through all these things all my, all by myself and never ask anyone for help. Never have having to um, rely on anyone. I hope that you know what I mean. And that's something that I just had to learn all by myself. I had to go through that. I had to learn that the real sign of strength, real real courage, real um, sign of being able to survive, and the real wisdom is actually to be able to recognize when you need help and to to seek that help. And that was a that was a pretty tough lesson for me personally. But after I I did it, after I I just realized that this is something that something so strong and something so uh, powerful, this uh, depression in my life that I have to if I if I want to survive, if I want to live, this is something that I have to do. I have to ask for help because I just I can't make it on my own. And I have to say, guys, guys, that realizing that, realizing that um, I can ask for help, and that it it is it is not a sign of weakness, that has been one of the biggest things, one of the most positive things in in my life. It actually helped me to recover from so many things, from so many uh, tragedies, and and um, traumatic things in my life. Like I said, one of my family members actually took their own life because of uh, depression, because of ser uh, serious problems, and they just refused to ask for help. So yeah, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like there might be someone watching my videos right now, there might be someone who thinks that they shouldn't ask for help. That that it's a sign of weakness. And I just wanted to wanted to reach out to you and say that it's not. It's not a sign of weakness. It's it it's something that actually can be one of the best decisions that you have ever made in your life. That you will you will be brave enough to ask help when you need it. Because there's always hope. There's always people around you, there's always
people who are willing and who are able to help you, no, no matter what you are going through. And I know that sometimes in life it just doesn't look like it. it sometimes it just looks like you are fighting, fighting your own battles, that there's no one who is, who is supporting you and no one who is standing beside you. But that's not true, because there's always hope. And I'm getting a little bit uh, sidetracked, but I I just feel like this is a very important subject that I wanted to talk about, and and I think that you guys agree with me on that. This is a very serious thing. This is a very important thing to talk about, and especially because I know that there are people who are watching my videos and who are suffering from depression as well, and I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you are not alone that you are no you are not alone with your struggles and i personally definitely know how it feels like and and also how how it feels like to feel uh, that that it's it's a weakness to ask help but trust me guys it it's really not like i said it can be one of the best uh, decisions you you will ever make in your life so, anyway, back to uh, talking about my own situation. So, after I had this realization, when after my friend friend was so blunt, so direct about my my situation, I started thinking things. And you know, there's so many things in life. In fact, I think most of the things in life are something that that you can't really control. At least in my life, I feel like that's the case. You know, there's always, um, for example, health. You can you can take care of yourself as much as you can. You can eat healthy. You can exercise. You can do all the right things. But even the most healthiest people in this world will get terminally terminally ill sometimes. You know, things happen, and there are some. Just some things that you can't control. You can't, you can't stop some things from happening. But there is also something that you can control. There is something that you can change, and that you can um, can have I influence on some things. And even though I've been feeling so helpless and so. Um, so powerless with so many things in my life that have happened that have happened like my accident like my like the most horrifying situation when i feel like my my beloved dog is going to die in my arms all this kind of situation that have been happening there's something that i just i had no control over but i there is something that i can control i can make sure that I rest. I can make sure that I sleep enough. I can make sure that I will take care of myself as 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 to my best abilities. I can make sure that I I eliminate some of the uh, stress in my life. That that's you know that some of the some of the stress that's not even necessary. Some of the things that I stress over that are like for real <laughs> you know what I mean for example even though I love YouTube I love YouTube I love you guys I love making videos I love sharing sharing stories I love sharing my games with you but stressing over schedule stressing over something that's that's not really necessary that's something that I I can do something about it. I can make it easier for myself. I can take a break from some from some series. I can I can make less videos and make sure that I'm happier. Make sure that I'm not stressing too much about all, all the things that I don't even need to stress about. You know what I mean, guys? I hope you do. So, anyway, it has been a very interesting day. I have been going through my my life, the things in my life, and realizing that 
but there is there is still something even though i I have been through a lot of things recently, and trust me, guys, I have been through a lot worse things in life than all these things that have happened during this year, for example, and I've al also realized that even though even though my friend was right, even though I have been very unhappy, I have been angry, I have been very angry about about thing, uh, things that I have no control over. And, you know, that's, that's silly when you think about it. To, to be angry about something that you have absolutely no control over. It's just, it's just messing with your head. It's just eating up all your energy, all your, all your joy, all your strength. And it's, it's not helping at all. And I don't know, I don't know, it ha it has just been very interesting, very interesting uh, day, and I think I've I've had some uh, revelations about myself too, about my life. And one of the things that I whoopsie doodle, okay, okay, bunnies, take it easy. And one of the things that I realized is that you know what, I'm a survival. I'm a survivor. I'm a I'm a fighter in life. There's so many things that I have I have um survived from. There's so many things that I will continue to to survive from. And whoa, some weird weird sound glitches there. But anyway, yeah. That that is something who I am. That is something who I have learned to be. I am a fighter. I am a survivor. And even though these things in life, even though the things in life that are something that you, you just can't control, even, even through all that, I can still decide that I'm not going to give up. And that's something that I want to share with you. I just wanted to wanted to uh say to you guys whatever you are going through no matter how hard your life is right now no matter what you have been through in life there's always hope you can still do something you can you can decide that you are not going to give up because there's always hope and one of my dear friends said to me that um, I hope that I can quote this correctly <laughs> they said that after each night comes morning after each each night comes day and that's so true because it really does and even if you are feeling so hopeless and so in su such a despair right now trust me there's always hope Please don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on on the people you, people who you love. Even though they can sometimes be the most stubborn the most stubborn, most difficult people in the world. Please don't give up. Don't give up on life. So, with that, I think we are going to end this episode here. Like I said, it was a very serious talk. I hope that you guys got something out of it. And I also wanted to say that if any of you guys, if any of you viewers feel like you want to share your some of your own struggles, if you want to share some of your own story, please, please know that my comment section is something that is safe. I, I am uh, modern my moderating my comment section very carefully and please please know that you are safe in my comment section you can talk about things with the other viewers you can talk about whatever you feel like you want to share and if you want want to ask me something i can i can do my best to answer you if the if the questions are not if the questions are not too too personal on that on that moment but anyway 
with that thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode even though it was a kind of a hard one and a very serious one but i will see you next time on time shots